Creators. Today we're going to take a look at the ATR2100. This is a USB uh, microphone that will plug right into your computer. It does a couple of other things too. We'll take a look at that. But here's the box. Let's unbox it. There's the mic right there. It won't have this label on it. I borrowed this one from school. But it does have an on-off switch. And this will light up. When that's plugged into your computer and this switch is pushed up, that will light up. And then on the bottom, there's a three connections and a little volume control right here. That wheel is a volume control. So there's three connections. We're going to use this one right here. That's a USB-C connection. So you're going to get a, a couple of different cables in the box here. And uh, first of all, you're going to get... I want to point out this type of connector and this is an XLR connector and we're gonna put this aside you don't need this to plug into your computer you'll also get a, a mic clip to put the microphone into so that you can put it on a stand and that part screws onto the stand and that's if you get the one with the stand. I think it's comes with um, comes with most of these models. I think th they cost about forty nine dollars. I've seen them as low as forty nine dollars on Amazon. I've also seen them as high as seventy nine. So check carefully. But this is the the stand that comes with it. Uh, let me get under the phone here. And it opens up like that. And then the microphone can screw right on top. Like so. And then you can put it on your desktop. So like that. Now also in the box, there's going to be two more cables. And one is going to have two different types of USB connections. It has the bigger type, that's USB-A, and it has the smaller type, that's USB-C. And then you'll get another cable that has both of the smaller type, which is USB-C. And this depends on what connection you have going into your computer. Some of the newer Macs only have these smaller USB-C, so you'll need this cable. And some Macs have this larger one, USB-A, and that will go into your computer. Either way, the smaller one is the one that goes into the bottom of the microphone right here. And then this part is going to go to your computer. And whatever program you're in, whether it's Zoom or Ecamm Live or any of the virtual um, platforms where you meet, when you go into the uh, gear, usually the settings, there's usually a little symbol of a gear. When you go in there and select your input, it will see this. It will recognize this, and it will list it as the ATR2100, and you will choose that microphone. And then you'll put the switch up, and the power light will come on, and you should be ready to go. Now, another cool thing about this microphone is that also in the bottom, there's a headphone output, and that's that little circle right there. And you can see it has a symbol of the headphones there. So you could come out of this with a pair of headphones. You have this wheel right here is the volume adjustment for the headphones. And that way there you could monitor yourself, and you know the sound won't be coming out of your speakers and going back into the mic and causing a feedback loop, that type of thing. That's optional. But I just want you to know that you can do that. Now, if you do plug in headphones into that output jack on the bottom of the mic, you'll have to select that in the program you're using as the output or the speaker as well. And then you'll have both working. You'll have the microphone working as an input, and you'll have the output working as a, a pair of headphones for yourself. And I hope that helps. If there's any questions, you know, reach out to me. Just holler. I'll help.